In a previous video, I showed you that um, I had a couple of pumps in the back of the pickup that I was going to be working on and refurbishing, putting them back into service. Well, my little workbench is waiting on spares. So that was the old pump. So we're giving that a good clean up and a check out inside and it looks to be okay. Um, the pressure switch, always a good idea to replace that because that controls this on off and we've got a new one of those already and the various components, the impeller housing here and that's open because I need to wire in the new one of these but that will be completed, closed up. I'm waiting on some seals. I need a seal for the impeller housing here, which is this unit here. And a few other bits and pieces. I need a new um, fill plug for here. That's that pump. So that's the deep well pump. Previously in service, but went out of service and replaced it. Now, the other one here is a surface, usually a surface pump or shallow well. And this one had some issues, it stopped working, and we had some people here while I was away play around with it, and they managed to break this fitting here which is a pump inlet which sits down there and then what they call the tank is that unit which sits on top of it now when I opened up this little jigger here which is the check valve the water comes in and stop it going back we have that check valve which keeps the head of pressure up but there's supposed to be a spring on the top of that and there isn't one, so somebody's borrowed that. And you can see there's a lot of staining down the back here and whatnot. And it appears that we've had a leakage where that rust mark is from that tank. So I have a new one of these coming, which is only a couple of hundred baht, it's not expensive. I have a new one of these coming. I have the impeller housing here coming as well. I've got a broken screw in there, it's rusted in. I think I can get that out. But if I haven't, I'll have to remove the impeller and then I can take off this housing because I've got a spare one of those coming as well. And hopefully that will be enough to get this one back in service. Why? Well, Pumps are important. I have one of each of these running at the moment in the tank room. And I have a brand new one that I purchased because I was having issues with the one in the tank room. But I got rid of part of the issues with it. It was turning on and off all the time. And then after a short while, it would overheat and stop. Now... It's still stopping and starting a lot, which normally indicates a loss of pressure. That can either be a broken pipe somewhere in our system here. Um, I have isolated most of the branches of that by putting in gate valves and turning them off. It assisted, it helped the stopping and starting or the drop in pressure. But um, I had to put a new pump as a backup anyway because it can't be without it. But um, they also have a check valve in them and it could be a case that the check valve is um, leaking and the pressure head's dropping so then the pump turns on to replenish it. Now that's a deep well pump and the main valve that uh, achieves that is actually down the bottom of the bore. <laughs> so there's a chance that um, even if I put in the new pump, we may still have the same problem using the original um, pipes down the, the well. 
I may have to pull those pipes. They're down, I think they're down about 12 meters, but um, that pump can go to 18 meters. And the new pump that I bought, it's actually capable of 18 to 30 meters with a jet pump head on it. So it might still be pulling those pipes out yet. But back to these two guys, I do have a couple of other places where I'm running water from uh, the tanks and this pump here that um, ideally it would be nice if I get another bore put down and I could put this pump into service there. I might swap out the new pump into the tank room to get that all up and running if it's not got a problem with the um, check valve on the bottom of the spike and then refurbish that one. It needs a new tank because it's rusted pretty badly. Um, the tank for this one was rusted out to nothing and it was covered in cement and concrete to try and make it work. That's the local way of doing things. Anyway, I actually found a supplier of tanks, of stainless steel tanks. And so there's the new pump, the 300XX, which supposedly has a stainless steel tank. But there are two stainless steel tanks there for the 200 to 300 watts. Uh, pumps That's a 250 so one of those tanks will go onto that one and The pump that's in the pump room now. That's also a 250 So I'll swap out one of those tanks onto that as well Which should give me a good life expectancy for the existing in-service pumps and bringing these two back on um, to running condition it gives me either spares or two that um, I can press into service elsewhere. I have been considering putting down another bore, actually where Tanlin is doing her flowers regularly. Well, that pump would be ideal. I could put that in there. And as far as um, the surface pump go, normally used for transferring out of tanks. We have a thousand litre tank here, which catches rainwater. So it could end up being connected to that as a backup uh, in case we have problems with the the regular feed which comes from the tank room and the two big uh, tanks in there which you can just see over in there. It gives me options and that's what I'm looking for. I have these units, if I can put them back into service for Probably about, um, how much have I spent? About 2,000 baht for components. Much, much better than one of those, which is uh, about 7,600. The new ones, bigger pumps, 9,000. And these ones here are around about seven also. So 14,000 baht worth of pumps. If I spend 2,000 baht on them, and get them back into service, well, all good.